Hey guys, this is Heidi from Robo's Mama. Thanks for tuning in. Today is part two of a video series or a mini series that my friend Lindsay from Mama Schmooz Homeschool Reviews is doing. And I'm gonna link down her channel so you guys can check her out. And also, this is um, all things preschool and homeschools preschool, what we use to teach our home uh, preschoolers some concepts and stuff like that. So um, we started last week with a um, homeschool preschool tag so I'm gonna link that below as well and today's just sharing some of the resources that we use to teach them so here are the things that I'm going to share with you and I'm gonna do the best I can with this video because we are doing some construction in my homeschool room and so everything is everywhere but I am going to pick out a few things that I have not mentioned before in my channel I did do an early learners video with my friend Amanda from uh, Fun Hands on Learning. I'm gonna link down below as well. Uh, but this is more for preschool, target, pre to like to target preschool ages, um, like ages two to four. What do we do to teach them concepts and what we use? So uh, today's video is on resources. I'm gonna share the ones that I love. So here's one of them. I love these ABC train puzzles. I got this from Marshalls, I believe, a while back, and uh, my son loves it, so we get to put this together. Um, and talk about the ABCs and also the animals and colors. You could do a little bit of everything with this. These are also fun. I got these from um, the Dollar Tree. And I love having puzzles like these to put on his little tray for him to put together. And he gets to practice his shapes and colors with this one. Also from Dollar Tree, another little resource that we I use. And I bought two of these. There's another one that I want to buy. And again, I put it on his little tray so that he could put it together. So it's fine motor skills and also concepts and colors. He could use it for a little bit of everything. This is from Learning Letter. I'm sorry, from <laughs> Learning Resources, ages three and up. This is great. This is the Alphabet Soup bright uh, bites and he just loves putting these in the little tray and we talk about the letter and the color so this is another little fun activity that I do with him okay and for some reason I'm drawing a blank on what these are but someone gave me this and I was so excited um these are, I guess are blocks but shape blocks and you put them together and then you get to print out I printed these out online for free so I have a ton of these for him to do and put together and um, I'll help him out too if it's too difficult for him but yeah these are great for fine motor skills, for shapes, for colors, and all that stuff. Also, I am uh, becoming a fan of these awesome five folded games. These are also great for um, picture clues and stuff like that, uh, concepts, vocabulary. So these are great, and they're simple and they're free, and you just put them together and then play with them. So these are also uh, something that I use. I'm gonna start to use these more. I've had these for two years now, and my first grader used to love doing these when he was four. Um, these are Play-Doh mats, and you get to do some body parts with this one here, which is fun. And then the faces, they love making the faces. That's my Jonah right there, which is really cute. And then you have like food. So these are free, I got all these free online. A lot of these anywhere. For free so and then you laminate them and they get to do activities with them so he still loves using these too so these are just a few things that I have not shared before like I said I'm gonna link down below two of the uh, different videos that I've done talking about all things preschool out uh, with different resources that you can see um, like I have puzzles and the other ones I have those cute little ABC puzzle um, from Target, Target Dallas Spot. So those are fun for them to learn, uh, to put it together in the um, alphabet and so forth. But yeah, these are the, just a few that I can mention right now. And please check out the other ladies that are sharing with us on this mini series. Today was the last video. And again, we did another one last week. So if you have preschoolers, these are great to give you ideas what you could use to teach them some concepts. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.